the camera's up there. Oh. Not, we can look at it from time to time. Oh, hello. Welcome to Laura Kane After Dark. I'm Laura Kane. This is Eric Rimmer. Hi. <laughs> we are the podcast for the people. BFFs who do a podcast. That's a hashtag that I have in my, um, when oh, I, I love post. that. BFFs who do a podcast. There's like less than a hundred posts that have that. That's awesome. But I think it's cute. It's very cute. Um, okay. Let's get this out of the way. I just got off the phone with Kim from 90 Day Fiance. TLC got their hands in this whole thing. The interview, the live, the, even though I sent them the questions, they called her today and they said, you're under our contract. We don't think you should do it. And she, the tell all airs in April. And she's like, you guys are my first interview the minute I, I'm out of my contract. Yeah. And so then she can talk about everything. Right. And so maybe that's better. Yeah, I think it's better. Yeah. But we're still going to be at Crack Tacos oh, on the 27th. Yes. We will be at Crack Tacos <laughs> on the 27th, which is this Sunday at 6 o'clock. We might be able to have another celebrity. We're, we're working, working on, on it. it. Um, Our producer I, said that we should get a baseball player. We're like, um. <laughs> me who knows nothing about sports. I know, sports. like us with sports. But that might be good. We might attract some more viewers that way. Oh, I totally will. Oh, my God. Because I don't even know how many innings are in a football game. Oh my God, you are bad. You are bad. Somehow I think you kind of, that was real. That wasn't fake. How many downs in a, in a play I, in football? I have no idea. Four, I think. Who knows? How many innings in a baseball game? Come on, you know, you got this. Nine. Good. Oh, see, see. you are so sporty. Oh, see, we can totally have so a sporty. baseball player on. Oh, for sure. All right, let's talk about Crack Tacos because yes. we are going there on we Sunday. Are, We're they live streaming are from a there. Sponsor for Laura Kane After Dark, and we love them. They're our first. We sponsor. went there for lunch on Thursday. We did. We had. I had the Crack Tacos, which is actually Cardiff Crack, brought down here to Mission Valley, cooked up, put in a taco, a really thick corn tortilla They're with so guacamole. Good. Oh my gosh, I had two of them. You had. I had the potato taco. I strayed from my rolled chicken tacos. I which know. I, I noticed that. Yes, I had a uh, potato taco and I had a cactus taco, and they what were delicious. Does that taste like the cactus taco? It was really good because that's a little scary for me, but no, I it's know very, it's very, like good. very, very flavorful. It was very good, and the hot sauce. If you like hot sauce, it is. It's no joke. Ring sting hot. <laughs> it's no <laughs> joke. I think that's what they call it on the menu is the ring sting hot sauce. They should. Well, they I should. hope Ron is there so you can meet him. He's I know. Ron's super cool. awesome. We love him and we love his staff. They're They've great. been together since they started, which mm-hmm. how long ago did you bring Do- up Croc Tacos to me? Oh, gosh, probably three years ago. Yeah. When they opened. So they're in the Chili's parking lot, the Chili's that's been there forever. I, I know think you say the address. I think I know it off the top of my head. Okay. I think it's forty two forty two Camino del Rio North. You'll see the big sign that says Crack Tacos. Yes, you can't miss it near Soapy Joe's. Yeah, so go to Crack Tacos for lunch tomorrow. Why not? Why not? It'd be so delicious. Lots or of dinner people tomorrow too. have been going. Oh, and, and mention Laura Kane after dark, and you get a free drink with your purchase. A lot of people have been saying that to him. Yes, I hope enough that he might want to do another month. Maybe. <laughs> we had one sponsor for one month. We are a delight. We are. So who wouldn't? So delightful. Right, B? Aren't we delightful? <laughs> see, there we go. <laughs> we'll see how delightful after we play Make Laura Laugh a little bit later. Oh, guaranteed. You're Not. Going to nope. Crickets. Nope. I have the cricket sound effect. Yeah, no. Don't even bother trying to play that, B, because it's not going to happen. She's going to laugh. I, I'm not going to look at you this time. Oh, no, you have to look at me. Why? Because that's the... No, because your your face it makes me laugh, not the joke. Oh, oh. No, because when you're laughing so hard at your own joke, that makes me laugh. Good. So we'll see, we'll see, Good. we'll see. Then I'm going to pull everything out of the sack. <laughs> it's game on, really? baby, yeah. Bring it. Do you like my cup? I do. You really like those animal prints. I know, and you hate them, don't you? <sighs> Why do you hate them so much? I love me some leopard. I love tiger print. I love zebra print. I just love it. Mm-hmm. 
does that scream old lady? What does it scream to you? Tacky? Old lady. Oh, old lady? <laughs> no. A lot of like young people wear leopard, right? Okay. <laughs> I am an old lady. Oh my God. Help. You're not an old Help. lady. I love I, your hair. I love it short like that. You're just like my mother. She's like, the other day when I was up there in Rancho Cucamonga, <laughs> my mom who puts the kook in Cucamonga, <laughs> she said, Laura, I love your hair right now. I love the color. I love the length. I did not like those extensions. Those things made your face draw down and it just... That long hair was just ridiculous. I'm like, Mom, why didn't you tell me that before? I like it short like that. I think you look very pretty with it. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I can't do anything with it. I don't know how to style it. I don't like it. So well, there's. Why do you need to? Because I. It's short and okay. cute. If I went somewhere like a fancy dinner with somebody, uh-huh. I wouldn't know how to style it. Well, you just leave it like that. No, I can't leave it like this. Why? It just <laughs> looks not? like I've been out in the yard working. Okay, that. It's got those beachy waves. I have no waves. <laughs> it's flat. But anyway, so we went to my, we went to um, the mattress store. My mom uh-huh. and sister and me and Faith, her daughter. And we were looking for a mattress. My mom informs us, I haven't been sleeping very well. There's a dip in the mattress. I'm like, mom, how long have you had the mattress? I think it's been 19 years. Oh, my God, I'm surprised she's even able to pull herself out of bed no I know out of that deep oh cavern oh my god it's like sleeping in a canoe <laughs> my oh mom my god. Oh why my. didn't you tell us this earlier so we went to sit and sleep and the guy we were the only people in there it was on a Sunday and he immediately was like well when I think of sit and sleep I think of it must be just jam packed all the time oh my god there was not a soul in there just us he puts my mom through this whole test where she had to lay down and look up at this screen and answer questions and then we got her in the red and uh, blue zone so she's a oh, needs let me guess, a firmer the, mattress the mattress was $18,000 um, try 4000 <laughs> The one that he said is his favorite is 5000 Well, of course, because his commission is probably... That's what I, I was saying. Yeah. So I my mom does not have that kind of money. So then he put her on a... Fif- I said that. My mom doesn't have that kind of money. So he puts her on an $1,800... No, $1,500 mattress. So then I pulled the guy aside. I go, look, my mom is on a fixed income, okay? We're talking like under $500, okay? Like, I know you're not going to make anything on this sale, but please just help my mom... And he kind of was just like, well, here, over here, we have a $450 bed. It is a, uh, what do you call it when it's a a floor sample? Oh, uh uh-huh. And it was great. Why didn't he point us that direction in the first place? Because he wasn't going to get a huge commission. We don't look like we're rich. We don't walk in with like Louis Vuitton purses. Not right now, anyway. (laughs) I ordered me a Fendi, fake Fendi purse. Oh, boy. From a Chinese website. And I'm really excited. I can't wait to see this. You love fakes just as much as I do. Don't even pretend. I, I know I'm saying I can't wait to see it. And I I also ordered a Balenciaga sweater. Oh, uh, okay. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. <laughs> and it's uh-huh. uh, like a neon green with the writing across it. Oh, okay. I'm anxious to see that. I'm really, <laughs> I'm anxious to see how that turns out. Yeah. <laughs> can I just like rock that anywhere I go? You sure can. Really? With, sure. How much would that be regularly? Oh. Balenciaga <sighs> sweater, long oversized well, I'd ha- sweater. I'd have to see a picture of it. All I'm right. going to guess maybe $2,800. What? They're that expensive? Oh, yeah. So you think, <clears throat> so I'm going to be walking around just my plain old self rocking this. What do you think? Yeah, that's cute. It'd be cute with leggings. Yeah. And like little combat boots. Yeah. Very cute. 40 bucks. Okay. Yeah. No, that would be. I mean, why not? Right. I mean, I know it's probably not illegal. I probably shouldn't even talking about it, but if I get it, if I even end up getting it, it's coming from China and with COVID, you'll probably get it right before summer. We put you in a grave. (laughs) I know. Right. I'll get it in (laughs) July or something. And that sweater, I'm not even going to be able to wear it. So I have to tell you this story. I forgot to tell you yesterday when we did the podcast and my friggin' internet went out. 
so mad. Oh, we she was froze. mad. I was texting him this morning early. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, but I had to tell you. I was like, oh, oh I know. I texted B too. I was, I was barely, barely. I was literally like, <laughs> what I've is I've been happening? awake for yeah. like five, an hour and a half already. Two and hours. I was going to text her because people were texting me last night going, you guys were frozen. We couldn't see you. And I was like, oh. I know. So I annoying. took a bath and went to bed. I know, B. I'm sorry I woke you up. Oh, I know. I know. I apologize. I was stressed out. I won't do that again. But <laughs> we, that's why we're doing it again. So uh-huh. here we are. We're going to do the same podcast over again because it didn't even end up on the live stream. Just 12 minutes of it. So I didn't tell you this yesterday. Hold on. Let me take a sip in my cup. Oh, boy. This is probably not going to be good. Of my sparkling water, which I'm addicted to. See, at least it's not Red Bull. Oh, wait. Um, First, I got to tell you an embarrassing story. Then I'll tell you a heartwarming story. Okay, wait. Maybe I'll save the heartwarming story for um, Thursday. The embarrassing story. Can I take a guess? (laughs) Did (laughs) Did you clog a toilet here or at a restaurant? Here. Okay, now listen. I run out because I flush it. It doesn't flush all the way, right? I knew it. Oh, God. I run to my room to grab something, forget about it, come downstairs. B comes charging in. He goes, I need to use the restroom. I'm like, okay, it's upstairs. And then I go, wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? Stop. I think it's clogged. Oh, God. Oh, no. He was already in there. I'm like, just go, just go. I don't know. When you when you flesh it, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't even know. I did you okay were B? there was there evidence? Oh no. Oh, there wasn't? Just toilet paper, thank God. Oh my god. Oh my god, because if you saw it, you'd probably be like, What eighteen wheeler does she drive? <laughs> Why? Why? I don't drink Red Bull anymore. She's got like a backwards ball cap on. She's like, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Eating like a whole thing of Kentucky Why fried chicken. Why do I chicken, poop rocks? I don't biscuits. know. Rocks? They're you like poop, rocks. You poop boulders, not rocks. <laughs> it's like she's sitting on top of an ice, uh, like a chocolate iceberg. She's just all, ooh. <laughs> I felt so bad. I was so embarrassed. Oh, oh my God. God, I am so It's like an ant sitting on top of a potato. <laughs> <laughs> I know, they're like potatoes. They are like potatoes. <laughs> I need to get that poop stick that Lori's dad made. Uh-huh. Oh my God. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> well, next to the toilet would probably be a good I know, idea. right? But I don't want a stick that's been dipped in poop <laughs> right by the toilet. I mean, of course I'd wash it, but I don't know. Oh God. That's you know what be, I mean? I, I, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> know, I'm Just sorry. Just don't wash it, wash it in your kitchen. Oh God. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I'm sorry I even brought it up. Uh, but oh my God. what do you have to share? Uh, <laughs> what did we talk about yesterday? I, I don't even remember. Oh, I know what, what? it was. It was, I was out to dinner. Oh. You're going to love this, B. Oh, this is I not don't, okay. I'm, I, as, as fetching as I like to think that I'm, look every once in a million years, I was in a suit at dinner with a friend of mine. She and I went to eat. and um, Why were you in a suit? Because we were going to a play. Oh, okay. And um, we sat down and a woman, we had forgot our masks in the car. And so when we sat down, uh, there was a group of people sitting kind of catty corner from us. And the woman just kept staring at me. And I, she was just kind of looking at me like she was annoyed. And I thought, well, stand in line. <laughs> you know? So, uh she came over at one point and she said, uh, are you on Laura Kane after dark? And I said, I am. And she said, I keep your photos in a, in a special thing on my computer, my phone, and I use it for my alone time. What I, the hell? And uh, what does I, she look like? She's very pretty older. Did you get a name? <laughs> no, I, oh. I didn't. I was, there's oh. a lady on here. What saying about Eric? What's she what? saying about Eric? Where oh, are your? Sorry, go- oh, my- put them on. Put them on. Sorry, oh, we Margaret. should probably look at the the. Hi, hi Margaret. I love oh, Margaret. Margaret. <laughs> I love my Margaret. 
our MMV. They're, they're not my big ones, Margaret. They're just like my small ones. What happened to your big they're fatties? They're at home. My big fatties at home. Yeah. Um, but uh, that was where yeah. did you have dinner? Uh, did you go to Jimmy Carter's? Oh, we did. Okay, that yeah. was a Jimmy Carter's. That's, that's the kind of crowd I attack. He's wearing yeah. a suit in Jimmy Carter's. Well, we were gonna go to Ponzi's, but it was like a two-hour wait. Oh yeah. So then, Jimmy I Carter's thought, is awesome. By I the thought, way, that's lovely that I'm masturbatory material to people that either think I look good dead. Well, he took a picture of what he look, would look like dead, and some dude said that he used it to pleasure to it. himself. Yes. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's the most disturbing thing I think I've ever Nobody's heard. ever said that to me, and that is upsetting. Uh, no, that should be a good thing. Well, no. Well, see, I'm the buffer. So I I get the- <laughs> He gets get all the, rec- the recognition. You get, I don't, nobody yes, when, ever comes up when, to me. When people like to masturbate but to I my dead face. But I think that's a compliment. To, to my dead face? <laughs> I think that's a compliment. You, oh, you look dead. You look, pretty. Yeah. You look yeah. handsome dead. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> well, now I look know what I'll look like dead, so that's just oh, great. Oh, speaking of dead. Oh, no. We're going to talk to Erica. Oh, yes. She was on Baywatch back in the day. My dear friend Erica Leniak. I okay. love her. We'll talk to her probably on Thursday. Yes, my sister and from another mystery. She was telling us some really cool things about dying I know this doesn't sound cool or fun, but the way she was explaining it, she's really into this. Her mom uh-huh. just passed away yeah. and she saw a medium and the medium saw some things that she couldn't have ever known. Right. And, um, and then she told her something about when we die, which makes me kind of excited. Weren't you kind of like, hey, yeah. that's kind of nice. Yeah. So that's on Thursday. We're going to learn how to die. Well, when I die, there's probably just going to be a line of people just beating off. Yeah. Oh, my God. Stop. That would be great. Stop. (laughs) Come towards the light. I'll have a whole different meaning. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. He's crying. Um, Okay. You are. Oh, goodness. Hi, Matt. Uh, Hi, Margaret. Hi, Matt. Hi, Margaret. (laughs) <laughs> oh my gosh all right do we want to launch right into my double d's yes please <clears throat> we still need some theme music for that i was gonna load it up today but i didn't thanks Kate. i'm sorry i was very stressed today well you don't look at my jokes either i'm don't worry about it i'm not going to whatever um more 90 day fiance news Ooh. Stephanie Davidson, remember she was on our show? Yes. Dating O.J. Simpson. Are you kidding me? I'm just going to go ahead and say that's probably not a good idea. No, it is certainly not. But she's not all there. As we found out when she called the show and was going off on TLC. Oh, yeah. She was saying they made them, um, they made her and the guy she was with, I forgot his name, shoot the scene, the same scene multiple times. She was getting bit by oh, yeah. those Sam like fire ants or, or something oh, yeah. and she yeah. has like bites all over her legs so she was suing tlc like all she's going off i'm like i don't know if she should be saying all this stuff oh yeah it was but she was crazy it was a little out there it was awesome my ears almost fell off i feel like you know kim mm-hmm. when i was talking to kim uh-huh. who told us that she can't make it on sunday because tlc put down the hammer boom you may not do any interviews until the season is over and so she said, well, I'm really sorry. You guys are going to be the very first interview I do in April. And why don't you message me? I'm like, ooh, we can become friends. Mm-hmm. And then I can get the real scoop. It's going to be juicy. In April, I'm going to get the real scoop. Uh-huh. I have so many questions. I, I do too, actually. I gave TLC some softball questions too. And they were very... They Innocuous. Didn't. They were just very plain <laughs> and easy, and they still said no. Darn it. Well, darn it. She's like, I wish I would have done it on the down low, but I go, no, it's good that you had to go through the proper channels. You know, she's under contract. You're very good at that. You're very, very fair. Am I? Uh-huh. You my, are. My son is very fair. Yeah, and my daughter is very fair. You're very fair. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Can I continue? Yes, you may. <laughs> The reboot of The Hills has been canceled. I didn't even know it was on. It's called The Hills New Beginnings. Not so much anymore. It is Whitney on it? Whitney Port? 
Ah, uh, yes. Is uh, Spencer and yes. the other chick. I forgot her name. Brody Jenner is on there. Oh, Brody. How does uh-huh. he look these days? Oh, this, that it, hair. Didn't he get married? Yeah, and then divorced. And now she's pregnant by another guy. Oh, so you've been watching it. I was, actually. I'm embarrassed to say that I was. Don't be embarrassed. I'm horrified. Oh, I started watching a Netflix show today. What? Inventing Anna. Oh, is it good? Yes. I, I heard the accent is just... It's, you, you have to get past the accent. Okay. Just kind of don't focus on it. You know it. who she's friends with? Who? Kanye's ex-girlfriend, Julia Fox, who is a nightmare. Oh, the real Anna? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Delve- yeah. Delvoy? Delve? I forgot the name. Delve, yeah. Um, really? Uh-huh. Julia Fox is she's not... She's a train wreck. She just needs to go away. Yeah. Like she's going to write a tell-all book. Who wants to read for that? For what? I don't know. Being with Kanye for like a week? Yeah. Ooh! Speaking of tell-all books. Oh my gosh. Britney Spears just signed a $15 million Good for her. deal with Simon & Schuster she to should. write a tell-all book. I will read that. I will put my deposit down, my pre-order down right now. So obviously she... Well, not obviously, but she probably is not writing the book. She's probably there's telling, probably going to be a ghostwriter. Yeah, telling so that she so she tells somebody this is what happened and they write it up yeah. all snappy. Uh huh. Okay, I'm in. In in. I in. am too. Oh my gosh, I bet you're gonna oh, love that book. I'm gonna. Yeah. I hope she tells it all. Oh, me too. Oh, we got to know what it was like being in captivity. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, can't wait. Wendy Williams show canceled in June. It's now going to be the Sherry Shepard show. Why? What she's, happened to Wendy well, Williams? I think she's got Graves' disease. and What does that do? I'm not sure. Do you know what Graves' disease does? Uh-uh. I'm not sure. Oh, well, I feel... Best of luck. I and know. I really like her. Stuff. Sherry Shepard's okay, but I really like Wendy Williams. Yeah. When she's on her game. Yeah. Taylor Swift is engaged to Joe Alwyn. What has he been in? Do you know? Uh... He's an actor. I, um, I I think he's on an HBO show. I'm not sure he's what cute. it's called, though. Yeah, he's handsome. Five years together, so congratulations yay, to them. Yay, yay, yay. And Queen Elizabeth got tested positive for COVID. Is she okay? Who knows? Do we know? I don't know. Isn't she 189 She's like 96 old? or something like oh, that? wow. Poor thing. Oh, my gosh. Well. Okay. <laughs> well, all right. Okay, wait a minute. What? Oh, did you hear about the Louisiana teacher? This is not the, is this not the grossest thing you've ever heard? Retell this because I think I was tuning out last night. Oh, thanks a lot. (laughs) Well, now it all comes to the surface. (laughs) She just tunes out while I'm talking. I'm just being honest. B does not tune out while I'm I'm talking. He is right in there with me. Like, simpatico. I'm just being honest. Oh, okay. What? So disappointed. I'm just going to talk to B. So <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear what happened because I kind of missed the, the middle part. So she pled guilty. A teacher. A teacher. She had a, a husband that was a disgraced police officer, so he was no longer on the force. She, was, she pled guilty to giving her junior high school students cupcakes laced with her husband's jizz. Why? What's the reason? Why would she do that? She faces 150 sex crime charges. Is, did she hate her class? Did she hate the school? Well, what? she must hate life because she's probably going to be in prison for a Jeez, long time. that is time. sick. That is the sick, grossest sick, sick. thing I think I've ever heard. That and that lady coming up to you in the restaurant. No, that even wasn't so bad. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> this this was, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but this Anna tell uh, inventing Anna. Uh-huh. It's really interesting the way she like she came from Germany, and she was twenty six years old. Did she manage to swindle uh, everybody? Did you watch this? The yeah, the Tinder, Tinder swindler. swindler. Oh, I watched yeah. the Tinder swindler. Did you watch that yet? Yes. That guy is nuts. And I feel sad for that first girl who oh, yeah. kept taking out loans and yeah. loans and loans and loans. And do you know he? you can get a cameo from him? I heard that. He's a freak. I, I know. almost said another bad F word. How do I become a swindler? I would like that. I mean, it, uh, no, it's, you wouldn't it's because kind I, of, we would be doing this podcast from prison. It's kind of, um, it seems hard 
It's a lot of work. It seems like a lot of work. But to swindle somebody? Yes. Yeah, I I do not have the time. No, I don't think I do either. No. But to swindle... He, I mean, he was wearing Louis Vuitton shirts and he was like flying yeah, on private jets. And- what he did was he like swindled from one girl and then used it to swindle the next girl. Like oh he was gosh. like robbing from Peter to pay Paul. It was so weird. I don't even know how somebody... Why is he not in jail? Who knows? Uh. I didn't watch it to the very end. And I mean, I am sorry. He was not easy on the eyes. He was was okay. He He wasn't gross. gross. He wasn't gross. He was okay. Disgusting. What a pig. But, I mean, I could see the appeal to those ladies, those girls. I could not at all. Really? No. Well, he's kind of European looking and he has like nice hairline and (laughs) he's rich. I mean, why not? No. Why not? I must, he must have a dick that reached from the house to the street. No, he had money. That's all that matters. No, he, he had didn't, a tiny he didn't dick. have money. He, he had well, other people's money. I know, but they didn't know that. Oh, that's so gross. I got dicked on him. Tiny. Oh, I'm. I got dicked on a guy. I, my Okay, so dick dar is, I, you know how you have, you have gaydar? I believe that I have dick dar, although I can never prove it. I can tell if a guy has a big dick or not. Sometimes it comes to me in waves. Like I can't look at you and and feel it but this guy in front of me did you did you just hear that why, why am i always me? the example no and i haven't gotten dick dar on b either it comes oh to my me god. like thank I, your lucky stars B. okay thank you jesus oh my god this guy in front of me was wearing these tight <clears throat> pants not not too tight and a jacket that was kind of covering it and he was getting cigarettes from walgreens of all places mm-hmm. and i just looked at him i'm like that guy has got a huge dick. I don't know why. There was no reason. I didn't look at his shoe size. I didn't look at his hands. I just got a vision. And Uh I will never be able to prove it. I wish I could. How Did he turn around and show you? No, they never do. So I never can prove my theory. You know what we should do? (gasps) What? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, it's coming to me now. I know, right? We it is after should dark have for a reason. Laura Kane's Dick Dar contest, and we'll just bring a bunch of guys in here and have you. Okay. Yes, yes, no, yes, yes, no. Would guys be willing to do that? Well, we'll put an ad out, and if they're willing to show you their <laughs> junk. I'm sure well, my 17 year old daughter would love having naked guys in her kitchen. We'll make sure that she's not home. Okay. Oh my God, I don't want to get a roommate. I don't want to get arrested. What about my roommate? We'll, we'll, my poor we'll, roommate. We'll send her out to dinner. Oh my God. Oh, B. We'll send her to crack tacos. Perfect. That's where we'll. Oh, oh we my should, gosh. Yeah. Um, okay, so we should we should hold it there and just call it for the evening cock tacos. <laughs> Eric, have you watched Spencer the movie of Princess Diana? No, oh. I have not. I have it on order though from Amazon. Who just asked me that? Oh, um, MMV. Hi, MMV. I think it's MMV. And. Um, Oh, season two of Love is Blind. I started watching it with my mom in Rancho uh-huh. Cucamonga, and I only we only got through the very... No, it gets good. You have to get through the very first oh, meeting, you do? the initial I, meetings. I, oh, because I watched the first season. Trust really me, long. it gets crazy. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll invest. Deal with it. The first episode, deal with it. And then the second episode, then come tears and okay. I love yous and stuff okay. like that. Okay, I'm on my own for a week, so I can... I can um, I can, uh, oh, yeah, I can watch all can my, watch, yes. my TV that I watch in shame. <laughs> you can't watch it otherwise. No, because it's too embarrassing. <laughs> oh, we're going to go. Oh, so my friends, Dave and Jeff do a podcast, the Dave and Jeff podcast. And yes. they're two really cool guys. I love them. They've been in the radio industry forever and they've had this podcast before podcasts were even mm-hmm. cool. Okay. They are taking 20 of their listeners to jackass and we're two of them. Two, uh, two of the jackasses we're, that are going. <laughs> we're two, we're <laughs> two of the guests. <laughs> we get to go. Okay. So now you don't even have to pay for a ticket. Excellent. You don't want to go see this, do you? I, I am so. Please. I'll go with you. Okay, thank you. Yes. I'm excited. I'll go with you. Thank you. Oh, my dream has come true. I saw Marry Me on Friday. With Jennifer Lopez. Oh, how was that? You, wow, you look thrilled. I have not one it single was very ounce cute. of want to see it. It was very cute, but I we wanted to know who styled her in that movie because her clothes were hideous. But I'm sure she looked amazing she, in them. She's beautiful, yeah. I read somewhere. I totally hopped the fence for her. 
No, J-Lo, you wouldn't. You are a gold star oh, gay. I am, but I would be willing to just overlook that for. Really? Is she the one or is there anybody else? Oh, I would climb her like a tree. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Well, I read that Jennifer Lopez every single morning starts her morning with a glass of lemon water. And that's all she has all day. (laughs) And a Tic Tac. That's my diet. I know that's your diet. Only I have an ice cube, so I'm much more fit than she is. Then she has a protein shake. Uh Uh-huh. Then she goes to to lunch. By the time she gets to lunch, she's starving, she says. Who wouldn't be? Then she has a leafy green salad with salmon or chicken. (laughs) That's where you dump out, right? Oh, my gosh. I'm like, if I had people making me all this stuff, I'd eat healthy. I would. If they they could season the greens in a way that made them tasty to me. With with sugar? (laughs) (laughs) Pretty much. Sugar or starch? I love me some starch. She's, I'm like, this salad dressing, is it balsamic? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's some, um, what is it? Red Bull. <laughs> oh, my it's God. It's just Red Bull and Coke. I'm going to like, my insides you know, are going to fall out oh of my, my body. Oh, my God. I swear. The oh. fact the fact that you have not imploded, crapped in your body. An organ hasn't come out is a total <laughs> shock to me. I had beige food today. Yeah, of course you did. Uh huh. I've not seen a green in probably three days. Yeah, yeah. I need to go to the grocery store. I need to do that. Oh, because Evan comes back tomorrow. I need to get. I need to be a mom actually tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I don't you feed did. myself, but I need to feed my child. So I will make something, but I make it hesitantly because I don't like to cook. <laughs> She's like, oh, God, like, I have oh, to take God. out a pan. I, I hate oh, dealing with pans. Oh, my God. I can't. I might just deal with a crock pot. The <laughs> crock pot, you can just stick things in and close it, and it cooks for six hours. That's amazing. I know. I might make stew. I make stew, like, every week. <laughs> <laughs> and that has no greens in it. Oh, my God. Do I need to make you some um, some of my... Yes, your enchilada yeah. bake or whatever that yeah. was. Uh, enchilada I'll lasagna. Mm-hmm. I'll do that. You know who ate it was Antonio. Did he like it? He loved it. He did had he? it for like three days. Did he for- say, what Mexican restaurant did you get this from? And you're like, I didn't. He didn't. He knew I, it was homemade. I got it from a restaurant called Senor Eric's. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Senor Rimmer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Do it. Bring it on. And don't think this is going to be funny because it's not. It's going to be a fucking riot. Watch, no, it's not. Watch me go, B. Laura Kane. Would you rather kiss a rabbit between the ears or on the butt? Would I rather kiss a rabbit between the ears or on the butt? Mm -hmm. Between the ears. (laughs) That is so stupid. That is the dumbest ass thing I've ever seen in my life. What do you mean? That was so stupid. (sighs) You're stupid. You pulled your pockets out of your sweatpants. Yeah, my wiener was the rabbit's nose. <laughs> Didn't you? Th- oh, God, Mm-mm. whatever. Not funny. B thought it was hilarious. Maybe I should just tell these jokes to you, B. Watch. He's going to laugh at every single one. Watch. I bet he will, but I won't because I hate jokes. <laughs> Flatline mouth. What, what, the, what did the cannibal get when he was late for di- when he was late for dinner? I don't know. What did the cannibal get when he was late for dinner? The cold shoulder. (laughs) Mm -mm. (laughs) Dudes are so weird that they like dad jokes like this. What's a pirate's favorite letter? Don't even go there. I can't stand the pirate jokes. Oh my God. B's laughing at everyone. That's why this segment's not called B, Make B Laugh. It's called Make Laura Laugh because it's hard. <laughs> what kind of a car does Mickey Mouse's wife drive? Oh, God. What? A minivan. <laughs> that is dumb. Oh, you're dumb. You know that joke isn't funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> Name something red that's bad for your teeth. <laughs> Name something red that's bad for your teeth. A lollipop. A brick. <laughs> I did not fully yes, you guffaw. Did. You I did laughed. not fully guffaw. You 
laughed. I smiled. No, I got that one, B. You laughed. I smiled. <laughs> you did that. No, I got that one. One out of five. <laughs> what is the name of a penguin's favorite ant? What is the what is the name of a penguin's favorite ant? Antarctica. <laughs> that does not come on. That does not whatever deserve that kind of laughter. <sighs> what do you call a bear with no teeth? I don't know. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. <laughs> No, you cannot be laughing this hard. It's not that funny. It's hilarious. Well, Cassandra says dad jokes are the best, Cass. Cassandra, you're, you should be sitting in this chair right now. Switch with Kane. What kind of bees produce milk? I don't know. Boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why did I laugh at that? How do you make a pool table laugh? I don't know. How do you make a pool table laugh? <laughs> Tickle its balls. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <sighs> what does tofu and a dildo have in common? Tofu and a dildo. What do they have in common? I don't know. They're both meat substitutes. <laughs> <laughs> That was so stupid. Why did I laugh at that? I think I was laughing at your face. Because you're funny when you laugh. Lord Kane. What? How do you circumcise a hillbilly? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. Kick his sister in the jaw. <laughs> Let me think about this. Let me think about this. Kick his sister in the jaw? You know, because he's... The sister... <laughs> he has to leave. <laughs> Wait, what? Explain it. Well, she's... And you kick her in to the, the sister to the brother. Yeah. Oh, uh, Billy. Oh, okay. Oh, God, that had to come with an explanation. Yes. Oh, I should have scrapped <laughs> I, that. I joke. don't have that kind of mind. <laughs> what do you call a herd of cows masturbating? Oh Jesus! I don't know. Beef stroking off. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> and Laura Kane, the finale. The last joke, the peace to resistance. <laughs> Laura Kane. <laughs> a man and a woman started to have sex in a dark forest. After 15 minutes, the man gets up and says, God, I wish I had a flashlight. The woman says, me too, you've been eating grass for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> Why did I laugh? How many points? Three, two? Five. No. Yes. I did not laugh at five. Yes, you did. I did not. Five jokes you laughed at. Oh, my gosh. Okay. How long have we been on now? I'm just wondering if, we, if I should tell my story or tell, or tell it for Thursday. What story? Mm, my story about the earring. I don't know if I should tell it tonight or if I should. I'll tell it tonight. Okay, tell it tonight. Okay. Back in 1980, it's a heartwarming story. We'll end on this. Okay. Back in 1990, 1991, my dad used to come down here a lot because he was a salesman and he would come just a few hours south to San Diego to see me in college. And my husband at the time, or my boyfriend, he was my boyfriend, Dave, at the time, lived in Hillcrest. And so we took my dad to a drag show. Why? I don't know, but he, I remember him enjoying it. Well, he and Dave left while I was in the club and they came back and my dad bought me these earrings, these little earrings that um, are studs, but hanging from the stud is an L, two little L's. And I'm like, that is so nice. So that was that way back then. So since 1991, I've moved I don't know, 12 times I have life's happened. I lost one of the earrings along the way. So I, whenever I, I, um, try to organize my jewelry, I always find that one earring and I'm just like, ah, oh, I wonder where the, 
The other earring is long gone. Mm -hmm. The other day, doing it again, I was putting my hoops together. Okay, this one matches this one. This one matches this one. I'm like, oh, there's the L. And I put it aside. I'm like, I can't throw this away. I can never throw this away. Right. So for some reason, I decided to look in this little, on my dresser is a little um, heart box ceramic that Evan painted when she was like five. I open it up. Booyah. Shut There's up. the other earring. Two L's. My dad. There we go. Got shot. Mm-hmm. I loved it. That's awesome. I know. I'm so happy. Aren't now, you glad you didn't throw the other earring I away? I know. You would have been so mad. I probably have been finding <clears throat> the one and not the other, the yeah. one and not the other. Oh, my goodness. Now I have are, both. Are they I, both in the same spot now? Yes. <laughs> okay, thank oh goodness. My, and it's in a, I, I will put them in. No, I did put them in the heart box. Okay, good. They're not scattered with oh, the rest of my thank jewelry. Thank goodness. Oh, my goodness. I know. Okay, so make sure you join us on Sunday, the 27th, which would have been my probably, let's see, I got married in 1991. So it would have been my 31st wedding anniversary. Oh, Is that true? Oh my God. What? That, I got married at 22. Wow. So it Just would have been. baby. That's, I will never forget February 27th. It's because it's the day we got married. But anyway, that is the day we're going to be at Crack Tacos Live. B is going to be there, but Kim won't, but that's okay. TLC said she couldn't come, but she'll come eventually. But mm-hmm. come out, hang out with us, be on live with us. Have some crack tacos. Can't wait to see you guys. I know. I'm so excited. Me too. Maybe I'll tell some jokes. <laughs> Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Should you have a whole new batch of jokes? Maybe. Why don't you do that? Maybe I will. And then we can see it live how... How terribly I bomb in uh-huh. front of our people. Yes. And how hysterical you get. Mm-hmm. When you tell a joke. For sure. You laugh at your own jokes like hysterically. I do. I do. I'd okay. be the worst comedian ever because I laugh at all my own jokes. Do comedians laugh at their They're own They're not jokes? supposed they to. They don't. You're no, not supposed they don't. To. Uh-uh. How did you know that? I've seen enough comedy acts. You know what I've been thinking about since you told mm. me about this yesterday? What? I think about you sleeping because in your mouth, you not only have a retainer. Oh. You have your mouth guard. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, and then I thought, wow, Eric really takes care of himself. You I, really do. I he do. works out. He eats right. He, look at what he's doing with his teeth. And then I thought to myself, I should be doing the same kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I had a retainer and I just let it crack and it <laughs> died. And I don't know where it is. And I need a mouth guard, but I don't want to spend the $300 to get a mouth and guard. And let me tell you, I must have a tight mouth because it's the same retainer that I had when I was in like Are high school. Are you kidding? Mm-hmm. You're kidding. It's no, still it's the same one. It's still mm-hmm. intact. Intact. Never so, threw it away in a napkin at like a Del Taco. So do you wear pajamas at night? Do you sleep naked? Uh, I don't wear anything. So you're naked. Uh-huh. With headgear on. With headgear on. <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy. Oh, my God. I was thinking about that, too. Like, oh, my God, Eric. Yeah. must be a sight, a vision. Super sexy. <laughs> I get too hot when I sleep, so I just prefer. I hope we never have an earthquake. Oh, boy. Because my neighbors would get an what? eyeful. Yeah. Wieners galore. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sleep naked. I sleep with socks on, sweatpants, and a t-shirt. Oh, my God. I would die. It can be the, I could be in the North Pole and I would sleep naked. This house gets cold, though. Uh, it doesn't matter. Really? I look, that like the hot show, I look like the showgirls poster when I sleep because I have one leg sticking out. <laughs> Uh-huh. I remember the poster now. Yeah, so anybody that looks now. knows the poster of Showgirls, <laughs> just to picture it with my face on it. You always have to have your leg out. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, that was fascinating. Oh. What? Remind me to tell you on Thursday. On Thursday show the dream that I had. Was it about me? I wish it was. Uh, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Dream. I have, we have conspiracies we need to talk mm-hmm. about. And we're talking to Erica. Yes, we are. Oh, yeah. We got to call her pretty soon. Yes. Um, all right. With On that note, thank you guys for watching and subscribe because I want my numbers to go up because it's sad right now. <laughs> it's 326 it's or something. Sad. It's sad. We so please subscribe because then, then it'll be fun. And- please subscribe. Otherwise, she'll beat me. <laughs>
Love your podcast. Maybe we should, maybe this should be like the Jerry Lewis telethon and we'll ask our viewers not for money, but for subscriptions. That would get annoying. Well, all right. So go, how would you do it? Look at this face. Do you want to see it sad? Mm. I don't. Do you want it to punch you in the throat? I don't. Can you all subscribe so that I can live? Thank you. Good night. Love your podcast. Love you, my sweet babies. (laughs) 